Imagine moving into your dream home only for it to turn into a nightmare of unexplained noises, terrifying explosions, and eerie occurrences. Welcome to the chilling true story of the Michigan Hell House. In the summer of 1974, the Pomeranian family's peaceful life in Merrill, Michigan was shattered by a series of strange and disturbing events that defied explanation. From mysterious pounding noises to spontaneous fires, even experts were left baffled. Join us as we dive into this year-long ordeal that captured the attention of over 70 witnesses, including police and parapsychologists, and uncover the unsettling mysteries that still haunt the Pomeranian farmhouse to this day. The story of the Michigan Hell House, also known as the Pomeranian story, was first brought to light by Steve Shippey, a paranormal investigator and filmmaker. He explored the haunting in his 2016 documentary titled A Haunting on Dice Road, The Hell House. This documentary revealed chilling events experienced by the Pomeranian family in the 1970s, including unexplained fires, poltergeist activities, and other eerie phenomena. Terry Pomeranian's family moved into their newly built farmhouse in Merrill, Michigan in 1951. For over two decades, the house remained a quiet and peaceful place, nestled next to its grandparents' property. The house, constructed in 1953, had no previous residents, no history of tragic events, and no ominous stories. It was simply a cozy, small home ideal for the family, offering a tranquil and idyllic lifestyle. On the night of July 9th, 1974, everything changed for Terry Pomeranian and his family. Around midnight, Terry, his brother Dwayne, and their parents, Harold and Mabel, had gone to bed. At about two o'clock in the morning, a loud noise resembling glass breaking woke them up. They discovered the kitchen window shattered. Terry and Harold went outside to investigate, but found nothing. They called the Signal County Sheriff's Department, which sent deputies to take a report. Initially, the family suspected mischievous kids or disgruntled workers from the Blueberry Farm where Terry worked. The following night, strange and loud pounding sounds began near the windows on the east side of the house. The sheriffs returned and searched for footprints, but found none, despite the wet grass indicating no one had been there. The eerie occurrences continued night after night, with new waves of knocks and bangs that kept the family awake and terrified. The Pomeranian home was one of two houses along the stretch of Dice Road between Chapin and Steel Road, which made the disturbances even more unsettling due to the isolation. As the nights continued, the family grew increasingly paranoid and tried to catch whoever was responsible. They enlisted the help of a neighbor and hid among the tall soybeans, but their efforts were in vain. Each time they returned indoors, the pounding would start almost immediately, suggesting that whoever was causing the disturbances had been watching them the whole time. In the summer of 1974, new neighbors moved in nearby. Shortly after their arrival, the woman from the new household oddly asked Harold if he wanted to sell their house. This unusual request, along with her strange behaviors, such as performing bizarre hand and arm movements and burning trash even during rainstorms, raised the family's suspicions. Rumors began circulating that she was involved in witchcraft, which further unsettled the family. The disturbances at the Pomeranian home persisted for six months, with the nightly pounding escalating to frightening explosions. The explosions became so intense that one even cracked the kitchen ceiling, 
leading the fire department to advise the family to evacuate due to concerns that the ceiling might collapse. On one occasion, a sheriff's deputy witnessed an explosion that was powerful enough to lift the refrigerator off the ground, causing him severe back injuries. Despite numerous stakeouts by the sheriff's department, including one on Halloween night with deputies surrounding the house, no one could determine the source of the disturbances. The noises were loud and clear inside the house, but strangely silent outside. Even a trained German shepherd brought in by the state police to catch the intruder slept through the commotion, adding to the mystery and frustration. The bizarre events at the Pomeranian farmhouse attracted the attention of John Fetzer, the owner of the Detroit Tigers, who had a keen interest in paranormal phenomena. Fetzer financed a visit from professors at Duke University's parapsychology department to investigate. During their visit, the professors witnessed several inexplicable incidents, including spontaneous fires. One such incident involved a towel that caught fire shortly after a professor had used it to dry off following a shower. There was another incident where a roll of toilet paper ignited and burned within seconds, a phenomenon the state fire marshal declared impossible without the presence of accelerants, which were not found. The Pomeranian family's ordeal continued even after the professors from Duke University visited. The final and most devastating incident occurred while the second professor was present. An electric toothbrush cord, seemingly cut without any visible cause, ignited a fire that gutted the bathroom and caused extensive smoke and water damage throughout the house. Despite the evidence of supernatural occurrences, the family's insurance company initially refused to cover the damages, only agreeing to settle after a lengthy dispute. Throughout the year-long ordeal, over 70 people, including police officers, friends, and family members, witnessed the strange phenomena. Despite extensive investigations by local and state police, fire departments, and parapsychologists, the true cause of the disturbances at the Pomeranian farmhouse remains a mystery to this day. Yet no one knows why this family was ravaged by an unseen evil force. Was it a poltergeist, demonic possession, witchcraft? Leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the mysteries of the unexplained. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on every captivating story we uncover. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your mind curious. Stay tuned for more stories from As Told by Bells.